Hi readers, last time we met, we talked about giving the book a sneak peek. Today, we're going to talk about how to read more and more and more. So earlier, we talked about how reading scientists had figured out that second grade is a time when readers shoot up, growing as if they were Jack's beanstalk. Remember how that beanstalk grew overnight until it reached the clouds? You won't grow that fast. But second grade is a really important year for readers to grow. But the thing is, you don't grow taller as readers. Instead, you grow stronger. Do readers lift weights? No. Do readers take vitamins to read better? Not usually. So today, I want to teach you that second grade readers work hard to get stronger and stronger. And to get stronger, they set goals pushing themselves to read more and more and more and longer every day. So readers, I've been telling you how there are scientists who study kids as readers. What you need to know is this. The scientists who have studied second grade readers have made some announcements that are important for getting stronger as readers. They said a book like the pigeon finds a hot dog should take about five minutes to read. And that goes for all the books that we have as second graders. So this book, this, like a J or K level, takes about 10 minutes to read. And a book like this, and you, we'll look at the text real quick so you can see what that looks like, about 10 minutes to read that whole thing. And then a book that's like this, to see all the words on that page, that might take 45 minutes to read. So they also said it's good for, te for readers to set goals for themselves. So if this book takes five minutes, I'm thinking that during our 20 or 20 minutes or more of reading every day, I could read five books that are like this. Now I'm not gonna read this book over and over, but I might find another one that takes about five minutes to read. Or if I wanna read this one, so this is 10 minutes, and then I also wanted to read Frog and Toad, that's 20 minutes of reading right there. Watch how I think about this. So this pigeon book takes about five minutes to read, and this old lady book is about the same as this one. So I think that I should read five books like this during my reading time. Did you see that to figure out a good goal for myself, a goal that could get me to push my reading muscles, I remembered that reading, scientists say that kids who can read the pigeon books can read five of them in 25 minutes. A Katie Wu seems about like a pigeon book. They're both about a level I. So I'm thinking that I should be able to read five Katie Wu books in 25 minutes too. One, two, three, So this right here is five, 10, 15 books. Did you see how I'm figuring out a goal for my reading time? I should have a couple more books here, shouldn't I? So we can stack them up and make it the right time for my goal. Readers, I'm gonna have you take out your books so you can set some goals today too. Start by thinking about which kinds of books you are reading. Are they mostly like The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog? Are they more like Frog and Toad? Are they more like Pinky and Rex? What about, I know that we have some Amelia Bedelia fans. Or are you reading something like this? So take out your books so you can set some goals too. Start by thinking about which kinds of books you're reading. Think about it. 
for a moment. How many books do you think you can read in one day's reading time? Readers, remember that today our class goal is to not read for just 20 minutes, but today we're going to try to read for 25 minutes. Remember, you're the boss of your reading. You can decide not just how to read, but also how much to read. To get stronger as a reader, set a goal. How many books will you read today? Then work toward that goal. Hi readers, today we talked about setting goals for ourselves. How many books can you read in 25 minutes? I want you to show me your stack of books. How many books are you going to read to flex your reading muscle and become stronger as a reader? Take a picture and show me.